In this illustration, we intend to calculate deflection of the truss using the Abacus software and analytical solution. The purpose of simulating this problem is to calculate the deflection of point B using the Abacus software and then compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of analytical solution. As you observe in the picture, a 20,000 pound force is applied to point B. Actually, this problem has been selected from Mechanics of Materials book and here you observe this problem. The cross section of the truss is 5 square inch and its Young modulus is equal to 29 multiplied by uh, 10 uh, to the power of 6 psi. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the truss. I'll select the modeling space as 3D, then deformable. From here, I select wire and planner and continue. Here, I will draw the geometric shape of truss. The size of member AC is equal to 6 feet. And it is equal to 72 inches. The size of member BC is equal to 2.5 feet. And it is equal to 30 inches. Done. In the next step, uh, I will enter property module. Click on create material. I'll click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. The young modulus of the truss is equal to 29 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 psi. The Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3 and OK. In the next step, I will click on create section. Here, I select beam and then truss and continue. The cross section of truss members is equal to 5 square inches. I will click on assign section, select the whole of truss, done, and OK. In the next step, I will enter assembly module. Click on create instance and OK. In the next step, I will enter step module. Click on create a step here. Select static general and continue. Since this problem is linear by nature, I will select off option. Time period is equal to one second. But you should note this point that the period of time will have no effect and is not important in this problem. So each period of time you consider here would be absolutely right. In the next step, I will enter load module. Click on create boundary condition. From here, select initial step, then displacement, rotation and continue. I will select this point and done. As you observe in this picture, there is a roller support at point A, which would allow movement directed at X axis, but would not permit a move to be made directed at Y axis. So here I will close all boundary conditions of displacement except U1 and UR3. Again, I will click on create boundary condition. 
select displacement rotation and continue. I will select this point, done. There is a pin support at point D. So I will close all boundary conditions of displacement except UR3. In the next step, I will click on create load, select step one, then concentrated force and continue. I will select this point, done. As you observe in the picture, a 20,000 pound force is applied point B. In the next step, I will enter mesh module. Click on seed edge, select the whole of truss, done. Here I will put method on by number and enter the number of the elements equal to one. So one element is considered for each member of the truss. Then I will click on mesh part and yes. I will click on assign element type, select the whole of the truss, done. Here I will put the element family on truss and OK. I will enter job module, then click on create job. The analysis was done successfully, so I click on result. Here, you observe the displacement of truss members. Here, we intend to solve this problem using the analytical solution. To do so, first we should calculate the reaction forces at point A and D. And the reaction forces at point A and B is equal to 10,000 pounds. In the next step, we need to make a cut on the truss, and the cut should be in such a way that it cuts the A, B, and A, C members. Here you can see the cut sample. Then we should draw the forces having been applied to the slashed sample. Here the purpose is to calculate the F. A, B and F, A, C and we can calculate F, A, B by writing the equilibrium of force directed at Y axis and F, A, B is equal to 26,000 pounds. After that, uh, we should write equilibrium of force directed at X axis and doing so, F, A, C will be up will be obtained and it is equal to 24,000 pounds. Following that, we should calculate the strain energy of the whole truss. To do so, we'll only need to calculate the strain energy of each member of the truss and then add them all up together. In this manner, the strain energy of the whole truss will be gained. This has been done in this table, meaning that the strain energy of each member of the truss has been separately calculated and then added up together. The strain energy of the whole truss is equal to uh, 
0.64. In the next step, uh, we can calculate the quantity of displacement of point B using the principle of work energy. And we use this formula to do so in which P is the force having been applied to point B and is equal to 20,000 pounds. And U is the strain energy of the whole truss. Eventually, the deflection of point B would be equal to 0 0.06496 inches. Here, we intend to calculate the deflection of point B using the Abacus software and then compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of the analytical solution. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB Field Output, and continue. Here, I will select Unique Nodal. Then, select U2, or the same vertical displacement. Select this point, that is actually the same point B. Here, you observe the deflection having been obtained from the Abacus software. The deflection of point B obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 0.06496 inches. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are precisely similar to those of the analytical solution and the deflection of point B is equal to 0 0.06496 inches in both cases.